is Amanda from The Fundamental Home. It's Thursday and it's time for my regular grocery haul. If you haven't seen, I did a bonus grocery haul yesterday. I will link it over here and you can check that out and see exactly what we bought with our special gluten-free super bargains. So um, we did that yesterday at my regular discount grocery store and it was such a great deal that Rick said that we can just take that for money that we plan to put away and then we are going to use our regular grocery haul money on a separate deal. We decided to go to another discount grocery store and to Lidl, which we'd not been to the Lidl that's in our area yet. We'd only been to the one that was in another state. So this was kind of really exciting. However, I will say this, I lost the receipt to the discount grocery store. Um, I, I remember it was $9 and some change, but I don't remember the exact total. So I'm just estimating this week's grocery price, but you'll see what I bought and it's, I think they all have price stickers on them. So you can see exactly uh, what we paid thereabouts, even if I don't have an exact number. But I do have the receipt for Lidl and I'm gonna show you that right now. Okay, so this is my receipt for Lidl. And you can see I spent $34.35. And over here I have my board where I have the discount grocery was $9 and some change, I cannot remember. Lidl was $34.35, so it's approximately $43 and some change. Ironically, yet again, we are at the $43 mark. I don't know why we keep hitting that, it's not intentional. It's just how it's working out, so maybe that's, you know, maybe that's the Lord telling me I need to change the grocery budget to $43. It's kind of a weird number. But anyway, so let's just take a look at what we have. So we'll start with the discount grocery store. Uh, Brianna saw these Takis and they were 59 cents so uh, she asked me if she could have them and I said sure and you can see that she's already opened them. But um, that was her little snack today. We got this bag of crispy taco chips. We're going to have hot dogs tonight with our guests so chips just seem like a natural side dish so that's for that. It's 99 cents. I also got these um, taco shells. They were 69 cents for a box. That's a really good price. I've not seen them that low and we love to have tacos. So uh, we decided to go ahead and pick four of those up. So there's four boxes right here. They're gluten-free, so that works out really well for us. Gluten-free Glutino toaster pastry. This is the frosted strawberry, 99 cents. Super excited about that because Ricky almost never gets anything Pop-Tartish. So that's good for him. Uh, Brianna's super into applesauce right now. When we went to visit my sister, she had applesauce at her house every morning, and it's like her favorite thing in the world. These were 20 cents each for the individual containers. We got five, so that's one dollar's worth. And the last thing that we got at the uh, discount grocery store was this bag of sandwich bags. They were 79 cents for 40 bags, which Brianna likes frozen, so... She asked for them, they were cheap enough, we went ahead and got them, no big deal. So anyway, all of that was what we got for around $9 at the discount grocery store. Then we went to Lidl. You guys can see this is the entire table. And just this little tiny amount over here was what we got at the discount grocery store. So all the rest of this came from Lidl. Let me share with you what we got. We got these sliced bagels. You know, Brianna's on a bagel kick. She likes to have them for breakfast. They're $1.59. This right here, guys, a miracle. Tilapia. I was able to get some fish. It was $4.99 for 32 ounces. So I'm excited to finally have some fish here. And there's even, I'm really excited, there's a recipe on the back for tilapia curry with coconut milk. I think I'm gonna be making that, so looking forward to it. I really wanted some celery. I'm into soup right now. It's gotten cool, and guess what? The celery was only 69 cents. You can't beat that. So I went ahead and picked that up. I also picked up these uh, carrots over here. The carrots were on sale also for a great price. They were two for 69 cents each. So I got, I got two bags. And I'm really excited about that because we're, again, soups. You're right here I have practically a mirepoix. And I have plenty of onions here. So um, peppers were 45 cents each. So I went ahead and grabbed two. These mushrooms right here. I got a whole box of mushrooms for $1.09. I thought this was a pretty good deal. Two pounds of ground beef for $6.01, so essentially $2.99 a pound. That's pretty standard around here, what you would pay for beef, um, particularly um, beef that you can see that's not in a tube. So I felt really comfortable getting it. I wanted some ground beef, and that's what we went ahead and got. I got three packages of baby spinach. Okay, so let me explain to you the baby spinach thing. They were $1.29 each, 
And I talked to Stacy this week, off Grip Dog and Stacy. She's encouraging me to get up to seven cups of greens a day. And that's a lot to try to get in like immediately, like all at once. I think it's something that I actually need to work my way up to. Um, so I'm starting with a little bit. So this is my greens that I'm going to have every day this week and try to get more nutrients in. And I'm also going to try to do without coffee. So these are my main goals for this week as I'm trying to eat healthier. If you guys haven't checked out my Bible study, I'll also link that over here at the top. Um, just one of them. It, we're, I'm just studying it Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, trying to improve my diet. And so these are just some small steps that I'm taking in a larger picture of, of ways that we're improving. So here we have some mild salsa. I went ahead and got two jars of, jars of it. <laughs> it was on sale for 99 cents each. So that was a good deal to get two of them for $1.98. Brianna, again, asked for the orange juice. I had actually already picked up these mandarins, but she said she wanted both. So I got the orange juice for $1.59 and this bag of mandarins for $2.79. So we should have plenty of vitamin C hanging out here. Um, milk, Brianna asked for milk. This milk was actually a really great price at $2.16. It's a great price for us here. I have been keeping the organic milk because, I mean, look at this sell-by date, December 20, or excuse me, goodbye date. December 25th, 2017. It lasts so long and I like keep, because we really don't drink that much milk and I like having something that will keep for a long time. The fact that, it, that it's organic is a bonus and the price really wasn't that bad. Uh, the price for this organic milk was $2.95. So I went ahead and picked that up and we're going to have that. And then the last thing is a pineapple. We'd gotten a pineapple last time and Rick requested we got a pineapple this time. So it is a dollar and 69 cents for that pineapple. So here we go, $43 worth of groceries. Um, I don't think we did too bad. I'm, I'm pretty excited about it. It's, it's in addition, like I said, to that large grocery haul we did yesterday. So we have plenty of food in this house, plenty of meat and things still in the fridge from the last grocery haul. So I'm feeling really good about the things that we're purchasing and the improvements that we're making on our health. Okay, so we have two grocery hauls this week. Plenty for you to look at, plenty for you to see. I'm definitely open to some meal ideas. Um, I'm kind of trying to keep it semi-simple. Um, one of my other Bible studies this week, we were talking about how um, we want to like not feast all the time. We want to just kind of have simple meals. So I'm really trying to concentrate on that and not trying to overdo it because I have a tendency to kind of overdo the meals. I think in one of my other videos, I'll, I'll link that over here. It's actually my video that I did. It was an interview with um, Living on a Dime and, oh my word, Lindsay and Bracken. Ah, I cannot think of their channel name. It sounds like rain. It sounds like rain. It was an interview we all did and we were talking about organic groceries and how to get them at a low price. And um, one of the things that I said in that video, it might not have been in that particular video, it might have just been in that series, but you can check that one out and you'll find it. But I said that it takes me about two hours to prepare dinner. And it's true. It took me two hours last night to prepare dinner. I've been keeping track of it. And I think maybe I'm overdoing things a little bit. So I'm trying to simplify a little bit, trying to find things that are, um, not just cost effective, not just um, improvement to my health, but also an improvement to my mental health in terms of the pressure that I put on myself and all the time that I spend doing things, if that makes sense. So um, anyway, so I'm trying to come up with more simple things. So if you have ideas, I'm totally open to it. Of course, this is Crocktober. I've really been thinking about spending more and more time doing Crock-Pot meals. I don't know if that works for you guys, but anyway just some thoughts I have in my head. Um, however, I will say this, Frugal Family Food this month is breakfast, breakfast meals. And last week we had a great meal from um, Damerel Stewart. Week before we had an excellent meal from Budget Girl. This week is no different. This week we have a great meal coming up from Stacy Lynn Harris. Stacy Lynn Harris, I'm gonna link her channel over here where all the links are at the top. And uh, she has a really great breakfast idea for you. I want you to make sure you check that out. And then the following week, we're gonna have another great person. Guess who it is? Brianna. Brianna's gonna make a video for us talking about breakfast. Breakfast is one of the hardest <laughs> meals for uh, people to think about for whatever reason. I always get questions about it. That is actually a meal we keep simple around here. And But Brianna's actually our big breakfast maker, in case you haven't watched our videos lately. 
you know that Brianna's got a lot of breakfast requests. So you're gonna get a breakfast idea from Brianna next week, but this week, Stacey Lynn Harris. She's a great blogger. You should definitely, I'm gonna link her blog down in the description box. You wanna check her out. She's a wife, she's a mom. She does all kinds of amazing things and you definitely wanna see what she's doing for breakfast tomorrow morning. So that is it. That's all I have for you guys for today. I will say this, we've done a lot of shopping this week. We did the bonus grocery haul, we have this grocery haul, and we're even gonna have a thrift store haul coming up. So keep your eye out for that. Don't forget the Bible study is Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 7 a.m. and Frugal Family Food tomorrow. So lots of great stuff going on. Thanks all you guys for checking out the video and I'll see you next time. Bye. Hey, thanks for watching. I'm really glad you came to visit us here at the Fundamental Home. Make sure if you enjoyed this video that you click the like button and also click subscribe right below me for more videos coming into your inbox all the time. And also if you enjoy social media, we've got links up at the top here for Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, all the other fun things. And check out thefundamentalhome.com for more information about what we're doing all the time and how we do it because there's way more details there. And uh, here over to the right, we have some videos that I recommend. So thanks again for coming by and we'll see you next time. Bye.